Welcome to a Rock Science feature video. Here, we will discuss the Material Assignment tool in Slide 3 and RS3. Although the Material Assignment process is interchangeable between the two programs, RS3 has staging capabilities that complements Material Assignments. As a result, we'll be using RS3 for this demonstration. We've opened up a model of a terrain that we'll be using to assign stages and materials to. You can find the stages bar on the bottom area of the window. An easy way to quickly add stages is through clicking the Add icon on the right side of the bar. You can also navigate to the project settings, select stages, and input as many as you need. Renaming stages is done here as well by clicking on the specific stage. This is also the only way you can delete stages, by selecting them and clicking on the delete icon. To select multiples, simply hold down shift and click. Now that we have our stages, we can assign our materials. First, select the entity, then the stage, and finally the Applied Properties drop-down menu from the Properties pane. Here, you may select the materials you've defined and apply them to the various layers and volumes in your model. If you select no material, the elements will be removed from that volume during the analysis. Another way to assign materials is to use the Assign Properties tool. Click on the Assign Properties tool from the toolbar. A dialog should appear. Select the entity, then the stage, and finally the material. Finally, click Apply. You will notice that the Stages bar indicates the changes in material for the select entity. In order to insert a stage in between two material changes, we'll go back into the project settings, click on the stage you want placed before the new stage, and click Add After Stage. The new entity will have the material from the previous stage applied to it. The materials have now been assigned. Thank you for watching our feature video. Please check our playlist for more videos and demos.